The documentary, got to mention that it's going to be coming out. They do have a distributor. And I would imagine if that distributor is on its game, they will have it released for the holiday season. Brace yourselves. <laughs> and I do want to say uh, the documentary, uh, when we all who participated in it were asked to participate in it, we were told that it would be a fair representation of the flat earth community. But it was done by people who believe in the globe, although they don't hate flat earthers. Right. Uh, they did a pretty okay job, but in the end, they named it something I didn't uh, approve of. None of us had the uh, the option of approving what was going to go into the film. We never right. saw any... Uh, uh, teasers from it. We never saw what the name was going to be. We weren't told that there was going to be a scientist in it and an astronaut. All of that was revealed to us just like it will be to you when you watch it live and you'll right, be right, right. maybe maybe upset, maybe amused, maybe both. But the thing is, is that it is, what I hate the expression, it is what it is, but it is what it is. It's out there. Yeah. And um, the director is a person who did it to make money for himself. Let's be real. That's what sure. all mainstream media does. The newspaper articles that are written, the magazines, uh, etc. They all are doing it to make money. And their opinion, most of them is that the Earth is a globe. And so what else are they going to show? Right. Um, the thing is, is that the victory that we want with a documentary that shows that Flat Earth is the truth will come. Right. That documentary was only the start. Right. It happened. There's there are, as There's you know, be more. a bunch. There was one documentary team, I'll just call them Doc, one Doc team that followed us during the conference last year. As far as I know, there are four that are already planning on doing it this year because, as you know, with, with, with anything in mainstream media, they all play off of each other. They all look at it and say, oh, I can totally do this better than that, or I think I've got a, an angle that'll play better. Uh, we'll see. So, But also, with most documentaries, we have almost we have no creative control. Over these yeah, things, and we don't get so. to see it until we get to see it. No, um, yeah, and, I wasn't you know, in the editing in, room. In, in it, all of us who are in it, um, including myself, we all got uh, made fun of. Sure. Mark did, I did, everyone in it. Yeah. We didn't know that till we saw it. And that's right. the way it goes. However, we do have a, one person in the chat who said it's a mockumentary. Well, even if Flat Earth may have been mocked during it occasionally, a mockumentary is an actual real thing, which wasn't this film. A mockumentary right. has a cast of all actors, and they're all using names that aren't their own. It's not about real events either. Right. Best, best in show. Borat. Uh, uh, that's yeah, a real Borat. That's a, that's a mockumentary. Mockumentary yeah. is professional actors taking a serious yes. subject and doing everything yes. tongue-in-cheek. Not also, by the way, to be confused with a docu-fiction, right. which is much more rare, which is actors that play it absolutely straight. Nobody mugs the camera. Nobody does anything. Right. This, this was is, a real documentary. This is a real documentary. Look, it was an... And you and I disagreed on some points. Look, it was an honest look at what was happening in 2017. Yes, and they did put their spin on some of it to take little sure. digs. But that's because they're Globe Earthers. Yeah. So it's a documentary with a spin, a slant from Globe Earthers to it. Right. Did, it, did experiments get muffed? Yes, they yes, did. Yes, but that's not because in... of the documentary. It's no. not what happened last yeah. did, did we have infighting? Uh, yeah, yeah. a little bit of infighting <laughs> in 2017. I have some in 2018, so too. maybe what was on screen there, I'm not talking about where the director took digs. Right. I'm talking about the other aspects. Right. Where we weren't all being our best selves. All of us. Maybe right. we need to be better. There you go. We all need to be better, don't we? I know I do. Yeah. You and, know you do. At the end, I, I look at it, and I you saw me write my thing to Sydney, which is, at the end, does it make you think about Flat Earth? Yes, it does. A whole bunch. Uh, it, it drills it into your head. To the, and we, Patricia and I saw it firsthand up in Toronto at the world premiere, whereas they, we were swarmed at the end by globalists, not who wanted our heads. They had questions. They weren't mocking. They weren't laughing. They, were, they weren't mocking us. You know, who, like, who, you know who's upset by this documentary? Hmm. Flat Earthers. Yeah, and they should be, of course. Of course, I am too. Yeah, I know. I, it, it is what it is. I hate there's, that there's, expression, but it's perfect. There's nothing I can do to make you less upset. I tried and I tried and I tried. It's like, look, yeah. you're going to get mad at this. But anyone who is fresh off the street, they're going to look at this thing and they're going to do the same thing that they did to, to you and I, which right. is they're going to look like, wow. How does the sun work? How does the yeah. moon work? What about NASA? Did what they about, really yeah, fill the moon in the blank. Today? Right. We were there. Well, we could have we stayed at that theater for hours after that thing. The thing is, is that it's like real life. Real life mocks flat earthers. Forget about the documentary if it were never made. Right. People out there that you meet, that you try to flat smack or do right. street activism with or your parents or your friends, for the most part, think you're nuts. Well, that's right. the way the documentary filmmaker made, did it. It's the same old thing. It's nothing new. We are not scarred from this. We are not slowed down by this. No. In fact, it's just the words flat earth out there more. That's it. Yeah, find, find me a flat earther who watched it and said they wanted to quit afterwards. If anything, everyone was like, oh, I, you know, they get so, you know, get so worked up. I honestly thought Sydney was going to burn the place down. Yeah, because we get it. I remember feeling bad when I watched it. Although there were parts of it that I enjoyed. Here's what I enjoyed. I enjoyed seeing the good parts where the community was together and right. we were doing things together. Yeah. The fact that we even do experiments, even if sometimes some of them don't work out, not because the Earth's a globe, but because it's really hard to do an experiment yeah. correctly. I, 
I loved, I, I mean, not to break it down the too much because you get the, the, meetups, the meetups were fun. I love the Chris Pontius montage. I love yeah, the, the Raleigh it's breakdown. It's uh, I love, I love the media montage, you know, when, when you're looking back at, you know, cause this was after Kyrie did his thing and all, you know, so much stuff that was being in, uh, involved there uh, at the same time. Yeah. And, and every time somebody came on screen, like a scientist or a psychologist, you just, even though it was short, you want remember Scott Kelly was only on screen for like two minutes. And he lied. The first hey, time I heard about Flat Earth, I was, I was in space. I was in space. <laughs> yeah, hated him. Anyway, but just to let you guys know, it is going to come out. I don't know if it's going to go through Netflix streaming or another site or is it going to be a the theatrical release or whatever, but it's now going to happen. So we'll have to see what happens. And of course, the other things real quick, uh, the National Geographic piece, we're still waiting for that. That's going to come out in the next few weeks. That one I'm going to hold, be holding. Oh, so that's going to be full on mockery. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They will. And that's not a mockumentary. You're going to be wishing for the Behind the Curve documentary. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah what's that old saying? You're going to be wishing for these days. Because <laughs> when, when National Geographic runs their piece and it, and it gets traction, then Discovery Channel is going to do it. And right. History Channel. And but the other. You know what? All, we all have to hold on. And be strong right. and not tear each other apart and point fingers and call shills because it's just the words flat earth getting out there. And, you know, I don't like the term flat earth any more than some of you do. Right. But what else are we going to call it? Uh, our, uh, our, our, our earth earth or something? I mean, <laughs> what is it that non-globular earth? That's not going to make people understand like flat earth does. Right. I don't like the term flat earth, but it's in my channel title because that's what mainstream understands means non-globe so that's what we're kind of stuck with you put anything you want on your channel that's fine yeah. but um we've got to remember the bottom line of why we're all here and it's not to tear each other down and the things that all of us are trying to do to get the word out no one's going to do it the way you do it or the way you want to do it except you so you do the way you want to do it and let the person to your right and left do it the way they want to do it right. and just remember we're on the same team same team hashtag same team yes yes right. um when it comes to what's really going on, NASA says there's a curve, but you know, we can't see it. Right. NASA says there's a spin, but we can't feel it. NASA says there's space, but we can't go to it. And they say there's a force, gravity, and we can't measure it. We know differently. And we're here to get the word out. Do it the way you see fit. And I will applaud you and share your work and have you on as a guest if it works out. And by the way, if you want to be a guest and you've got something to offer, please feel free to email me at mistyear at gmail.com. Thanks to everybody who's been here in the live chat. And thanks for all the thumbs down from the trolls. And if you can give it a thumbs up, that would be great. And if you come back to this video after it's made its way from Google Hangouts to YouTube, put hashtag same team into the, uh, into the, um, into the comment section. And if you're doing flat earth work where you're writing things, Facebook or I don't know, if you're writing things on Instagram or doing stuff on Twitter or wherever, in your own video, even do hashtag same team because we all can be different but still be on the same team and support each other. Flat Earth Vegan says it all. We have to spread the truth.